welcome back to Great Day at 9A. If you were thinking about patio weather, and who isn't at this point, mm -hmm. New England Patio and Hearth can help you get everything ready. Caitlin Francis is live there to show us the latest trends this spring. Kate, this is one of my favorite places, right on the Silasteen Highway, right? Yes, exactly. It's so convenient right off the Silas Dean here in Weathersfield, New England Patio and Hearth, and there's so much wonderful stuff to see here if you're trying to get your patio ready for spring, summer, fall, next winter, you name it. They've got it. So I've got Kurt here with New England Patio and Hearth. Once again, Hi. thanks so much for having us. Thanks for coming. So you say there's technically five main categories for outdoor patio furniture, right? Yeah, there's different materials. Mm -hmm. Right here we're leaning against some high-density polyethylene, mm -hmm. uh, which can be done in a lot of different pieces. We're looking at a module bar here. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. And you could do Z-shaped, L-shaped, straight shape, uh, many different colors, two tones. Uh, it's been very popular. It's a nice party thing. And you can, like you said, you can customize this kind of a piece, right? Oh, yes. All of these can be custom, custom ordered color-wise. Mm -hmm. They have these panels down here. This is a corrugated panel. They can do an upper panel as well. They could do this in the uh, poly material instead of the corrugated, and you can change colors. Awesome. And it's you have it all set up so people can kind of get a nice vis visualization of what it might look like in your back yard and you can see we've got some dining tables for outdoor use as well which are beautiful yeah and sizes they come from 28 inches square up to 120 130 inches long so there's a lot of choice that way colors also all right awesome so let's maybe move this way because this is you said the recycled material it's very durable where are we heading off to here this is cast aluminum <laughs> so the aluminum is molded mm -hmm. much like a jello mold it it makes it design that couldn't be done by bending or welding mm -hmm. and these come in a variety of sizes also this is a unique shape it's called a geo it's a true oval where most oval tables are what they call a racetrack oval mm -hmm. straight sides with a radius corner this is a uh, true oval all the way around this one is 80 inches long and 60 inches wide and it's actually the little one Wow. Yeah, the large one is 72 wide and 102 long. That's incredible. You can fit a lot of people. This is a lot of outdoor entertainment. This one will do eight quite comfortably. If you jump to the big one, you could do 12. Okay, wonderful. So, I mean, look at this. This umbrella is spectacular. I would need this in my backyard. Yeah, cantilevers have become super popular. Uh, they, they can tilt right or left. They can tilt backwards, crank up and down, swing around 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. And with, you know, all the bad things with the sun rays today, um, shade is very important. Yes, and you can see we've got the fire table, fire pit table here too. That's probably, is this um, trendy? You know, are people more into this right now? Fire tables are, are very popular. Uh, we basically have a fire table to go with every category of furniture that we have. Okay, wonderful. And any of the other types of things that we're taking a look at, are they... Um, what would you call on trend for this upcoming season? Well, everybody has their own idea of what they like in their home. So we do have the poly, cast aluminum, tubular aluminum, wicker, wood. Uh, so people will tend to want a certain item. This is wicker right here. Mm -hmm. uh, wicker is a, is a process, not a material. Uh, so it's a woven process. This happens to be woven vinyl. It's really pretty. It's all hand woven. Um, very nicely done, but it's made for the outdoors. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so, I mean, I'm sure everybody at home, including everybody back at the studio, Scott and Nicole, talking to you, seeing things that we all like. So if you're looking to see maybe, hey, how can I make that work in my backyard, my outdoor patio, uh, we're going to have much more coming up because we're going to talk all about the customization process. So Kurt's going to come back with us. You want to stick around. We're going to have all that. All right, in just about just, 25 minutes. Kate, quickly ask Kurt. I have my cushions. I need them reupholstered. I can get it done there, right? Scott needs his cushions reupholstered. Can you do that? We can do that, Scott. No problem. Okay, I know because they all set. They bought the fabric shop next to them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. We, it was used how, to be Mila, how convenient. Used to be Mila Fabric, and they took it all over, and now they do all the reupholstery for the outdoor furniture. It's wow. incredible. Which is something you don't always think of with no. outdoor furniture. Oh, we're gonna see that coming up. Yay! All right, I'm don't so ruin excited. the tease, right? I'm so sorry, I'm getting ahead.